there it's Carol with Carol B Crafts in this video we'll be doing workshop number three with my poinsettia petals create kit you can find out the details on how you can get your very own poinsettia petals create kit from me as a complimentary gift with a qualifying purchase at stampinup.com using my current host code which can be found on my website www.carolbcrafts.com so we'll start off with uh, cutting our cardstock. From your kit, you're going to need, now we'll be making two cards, so um, we'll go ahead and be cutting for two cards. You're going to need some old olive. Some of it is left over from previous uh, projects. And then we have some, also some garden green we'll need for our leaves. I think we'll only need this much for our garden green though. For our paper we're going to need this lovely paper here and then some bumblebee which is the darker of the yellow the two yellows that come in the kit and I believe that's all we're going to need from this and then from your personal stash you'll need thick berry vanilla and regular very vanilla but if you just have the regular you can use that for your card base I just like to use the thicker cardstock for my card bases so don't get those confused <laughs> now you're going to need from your um, embellishments kit the pearls your strip of pearls you're also going to need this little garden green label And there's a little um, well you actually need two because we're doing two cards so <laughs> we need two of the little green garden gate uh, labels and then two of the bumblebee labels you're gonna need the rest of your daffodil delight we probably use the rest of that Oh, this is Bumblebee. <laughs> They're very similar. That's Bumblebee. So we'll set these elements aside until we get to that part. We're going to, um, oh, you'll also need one of your little sponges from your kit as well for later on. Okay, so let's get out. I'm going to keep these separate, my thick, very vanilla separate from my bring in our trimmer so we know that our card base is going to be eight and a half by five and a half so we'll go ahead and cut that thick very vanilla we'll need two of them since we're doing two cards so here's our card bases we can set those aside for now so regular very vanilla we're going to need two because uh, we're doubling everything that's in our on the PDF so the PDF is for if you're doing one card if you're doing two you need to double everything on the PDF so um, we'll be doing five and one eighths so find five and one eighths and then we're going to turn that to three and seven eighths I think these are the inside panels for the inside sentiments. Another three and seven eighths. So we need two that are four and a quarter by three and a half. Let's see how much this is. Yeah, so four and a quarter here by three and a half these are for us to stamp on and then this one is uh, already four and a quarter so we just need to cut it three and a half and these are not panels so if they're not perfect that's okay so we have our for stamping we have our inside panels and then we need uh, for 
our sentiments, we need five and one eighth, or one, one and seven eighths. So we'll just do one and seven eighths here. Whoops. One and seven eighths. Let me get that up there straight and even so it cuts straight. One and seven eighths. And then we need two that are five eighths. So I'm going to actually measure over here because it's easier. There's five eighths. There's one. But I'm going to do four because I like to have extra ones. So you can, we only need two, but I'm going to do four. Two. I had to get some of this on my fingers because paper just does not want to stick to my hands. Five eighths. The smaller ones are hard to to get right, aren't they? Five eighths. All right, that gives me four. Hopefully, that's enough. So we'll see. Um, so these we can all put in our scraps here, except for <laughs> almost threw them away. Our our um, sentiment panels now for our paper. We want to get two out of this. So our our card our DSP is supposed to be three by four and seven eighths. And this is um, portrait, so I think I like it like that. So I'm just gonna cut it at three. That'll be in half. Because this is a six by six sheet. So I'll cut that in half and then the other one is four and seven eighths. Four and seven eighths. Come on. I take it a little slow because I want to make sure that I get it right because when you're cutting DSP, you don't have really a second chance. <laughs> Cardstock, you usually have a lot of that on hand, but DSP, you're only limited to what you purchased. Okay, so that's our DSP. For the garden green, we need four and a quarter by two. This is a little bit, this is four and a half, but that's going to be okay. So um, we'll go ahead and do two. And remember, we're doubling it, so we need another one at two. Whoops. Okay, so that's for our leaves that we're going to be die cutting. This is extra. For our old olive, we'll use a half a sheet. We're going to cut that at five and three eighths. So not quite five and a half, five and three eighths, just an eighth short of five and a half. This is for our front panels. And then the other one is going to be four and one eighths right here. Four and one eighths. So five and three eighths, four and one eighths. And since we're doing two cards, we're going to actually need two of these um, because we have one for the inside, one for the outside. And then with um, our other half sheet of Old Olive, we're going to do the same thing. Five and three eighths. And four and what's it? Four and one eighth. Four and one eighth. All right, that's our old olive inside and outside panels. So we won't need this old olive. Now for our bumblebee, which is the front here, we're going to need two that are five by three and one eighth. So we're just going to cut this at five. And then we're going to cut it at three and one eighths. All 
Okay, so now I think we have everything that we need to make our card as far as cardstock. So we can put our trimmer away. So let's see what we're going to be stamping on. Let's go ahead and we have two for one card, two for these for one card. These are getting die cut. These are getting stamped. Okay, so I'll put my die cuts over here with my put them with my card bases. All right, so we're going to stamp our flowers, our poinsettias on that, and our inside, and then these are going to be for our warm wishes from our home to yours. So let's get our stamparatus out. And I'm just going to put a random stamp pad there. So I'm going to move this light a little bit here so it's not in our way. <laughs> okay, so um, you'll also need your 4x6 piece of plastic. So I have, I have a 4x6 piece of window sheet here. And then uh, if you don't have that, you can use the plastic that's in your stamp set. This plastic here, the thicker one. So for this, we're going to need the Made the Magic and Wonder um, Bloom This Holiday for the inside. And then for the outside, we need Warm Wishes from Our Family to Yours which is this one right here. We're going to be using Old Olive ink uh, for our sentiments and Soft Suede for our flowers. And I think that's... Oh yeah, we do need our flower image. Poinsettia. The one that's like this. It's all one piece. Okay, that's what we need for stamping. So for our flower, we don't need our plastic. We just, I'm just going to find a place. I'm going to use this one inch here so that I can stamp my flower. Set these stamps aside. And I'm going to stamp that with soft suede. So here's my soft suede ink pad. And I'm going to ink that up. And if you remember from my last video, I am running low on my ink. <laughs> so I still haven't ordered my refill. I need to do that. And it's not dark enough. So I'm going to, especially that center. So I'm going to use the corner of my pad. There's a little bit more ink there to fill in the parts that didn't quite get enough ink. Now if you have a nice inky pad, you might not have to do this. Okay, um, I, I still think that center is a little bit, needs a little bit of help. There we go. That's much better. Okay, so we have that one, and since we're doing two cards, I'm going to put this in the same place I had my last card, one square off, one block off. And I'm going to ink this up again. And I apologize for the shaking desk. It's it's just it shakes. <laughs> That's all I can say. It shakes. And I'm definitely ordering that refill. <laughs> I've used this one a lot and it's starting to show. Okay. So we have the second one. So I think we're done. Yeah, we're done with our soft suede. So I'll clean this off.
Really got a lot of ink on there. <laughs> We're done with that stamp. So I guess we'll do the inside next because that's the easier one. So I'll get my four by six. I'm going to line this up along one of the lines here. And then that way I'll know that my, I'll move it up a little bit, one there. So I'm just lining it up along one of those little dotted lines. And I'm going to make sure that this doesn't move, hopefully, when I pick that up. Okay, so put my soft suede ink away. Get my old olive ink out. So that's going to be what we're stamping the inside sentiment with. and slide this underneath. Now I know that this is level, so as long as I keep my cardstock level, that's going to be level image on my cardstock. Just set, center it. And I'm using this line here. Remove my plastic. Ink up my stamp again. and stamp my sentiment. And I'm just gonna do that a little bit more. Make sure that it's nice and rich. There we go. Well, that magic is <laughs> just a little bit Needs a little bit more ink. I guess I'm maybe too picky. I don't know. The good thing for Stamparatus, I couldn't be that picky. Okay, so we've got one. We'll go ahead and put this back in place. And we'll slide the other one under there and get it centered. Using that same line on my cardstock. to come over just a little bit there ink that up and of course I want to do it again because I want a nice rich color Good. So I'll clean this off. And lastly, all we have to do is the front sentiment. I'm also going to clean off my plastic and I'm going to dry it off as well. And put our plastic back in the corner. This time we're going to put the warm wishes and we're just going to stamp that doesn't have to be level level because we're going to use our scratch paper just make sure your paper your plastic stays put because that's what we're going to use to determine where our stamp is going to stamp. So I have a piece of scratch paper that I put a little bit of stamp and seal on and I'm going to slide this underneath and line it up so that it is going to stamp where I want it to. That looks good. So I'm going to put these in place. Get my old olive out and stamp my sentiment. 
And I'm going to stamp that one more time. Okay, that looks great. And now I'm going to get my plastic again because I have one, so I need two. I'm going to twist this off. I don't want to bend it, so I'm, I'm not going to pull it. I'm going to twist it off. I'll put another one on that same sticky spot. Slide it under. Get it where I want it. That looks good. You got my stamp again. And I think I'll do that one more time. Okay, I have my sentiments. Now if you uh, needed to use the other two you could or just save them for another card. We're going to twist that off and clean this up and then we'll get on to our die cutting. We'll be using our new stamp and cut, stamp and cut and emboss. And I'm loving it. I'll have to tell you that I'm loving it. Put our ink away. We also need to clean our plastic off. I can bring my light back in. <laughs> okay, um, so our die cutting, our die cutting. Let's see. We're going to need our leaves the big one and the little one and the insides and we're going to do that with we're going to die cut those with our green, our garden green And I'm going to take some removable tape and I'm just going to tape those in place because I uh, now I'm ordering one of those magnetic plates for the stampin cut and emboss but I don't have it yet so so this would we need to do two of these so we'll do one and then we'll do the other So here's our stampin' cut and emboss and we're going to be cutting so we're going to use plate one, plate two, plate three, you can see I've done some cutting already. We'll put our dies cutting side down and then we'll put another plate three and then just run it through just like this. And it goes through so smoothly. And there's our cut. Beautiful cut and then embossed as well. Just like the name. It has the lead, the veins embossed in it. So we have to do the same with this one. Go ahead and put these in place. They seem to be already stuck where they want to be, so we'll just set those there. Run these through. Okay, that's our leaves. We need one big one and one little one for each of the cards. So we're going to do our coloring next and you can see that we have two poinsettias here. You'll need your uh, old olive ink pad 
and you'll need that little sponge mini sponge dauber <laughs> that's actually an eyeshadow applicator but that's you know we're crafters we find ways okay so with this you'll see in the center there's actually spaces in the center so you don't want to color on the spaces I've used my dauber so uh, you want to get it nice and inky and then you're going to want to have a piece of scratch cardstock next to you to make sure you don't have too much so once you get it good and inky you're going to start here at the bottom and you're going to go around so you kind of want full strength here at the bottom near the center Okay, so I'm going to let you see it. And you can see that there are spaces here in the center. And then you're going to um, take and dab. And then you're just going to pull that color out to the end like this. Dab, pull. Try not to get any streaks if you can. If, if you do just kind of blend them in the best that you can. If you've used our Stampin' Blends then you kind of already are good at this blending. And you don't, you want it very light on the tips of your flower. You don't want it dark. That's why you're daubing. You're just pulling that color out to the edge. And don't worry about how it looks because once we use our um, glitter, br glitter brush, it's going to blend these colors in beautifully and it won't even look like the same poinsettia. All right, so I've got these all blended out. This one may be a little bit more. So you can see it's darker in the center and light on the outsides. And don't worry about getting too close to the edges. If you get too close to the edges, you might actually um, have a boo-boo. But you can always stamp another one. Okay, so then kind of full strength, not a lot, but you know, you can tell. Now I'm gonna take dab and pull that color out to the edge. Oh, I must have missed that one. Okay, and then there's the second one. So I will grab my glitter brush. We're done with this. So here's my Wink of Stella clear glitter brush. I'm going to shake it up really good. 
make sure those colors mix those colors mix in there and then I'm just gonna take it and brush it like paint it and you can see you're gonna see those colors blending it's like magic and you're going to see them changing colors too it, it, become, it becomes a little bit darker but the the glitter brush helps to blend those together so well I like to use my glitter brush whenever I need to add a little extra oomph to a card. It's so easy to use and the, it goes where you want it to go. It, it, um, it's very easy to control the glitter. So this would be a good time to fill in near those lines maybe that you didn't get before. You can spread the color out. You don't have to worry so much about having a boo-boo because this is much easier to control than the dauber. So I hope you're enjoying these workshops. I'm trying to keep them at a, a you know, a minimum of 30 minutes something that we can sit and do and craft together. And I'm, I'm not fast forwarding, usually I fast forward, but I want this to be a workshop that we do together. And I've had people say, you know, I, I like your videos, but they go so fast, I have to constantly pause them to follow along. So I'm trying this to see if this it makes it a little easier now you can see the difference already I will this is so much more blended <laughs> trying to get these in but you can see how much more blended this one is as opposed to the one I haven't done the Wink of Stella to yet and you can use this uh, same technique uh, with any color with any image it just kind of helps to blend it out and give it a little, um, I don't know, it gives it a little more of a watercolor look, I think, just, just lightly, but it's well blended. And the glitter makes it look more elegant, fancier. Almost done here. It's a little bit more to go, a few more leaves. So I'm hoping to have one of these uh, workshop, well, craft, create kits, one, one a month, um, and then the month of Coming in the mid mid September, I'm going to announce my Halloween one, and I'm hoping to do a some kind of home decor project for Halloween. I'm not sure if we're going to have a lot of trick or treaters this year because of everything that's going on right now. Okay, so. I have those done. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm very pleased with those. So I'll put this away somewhere where I won't get it inky. Now we do need to die cut these. Maybe we did our die cutting too soon, huh? <laughs> so let's get our die cut for that. This is uh, all in one die cut here. And I think this was the one, well, they dry pretty quick, so I don't guess it'll matter. I'm going to find, oh, first time. That's That doesn't happen very often. <laughs> I usually have to wiggle it around a little bit to figure out which one is which. Okay, so I'm going to run that one through. I think it needs to come over a little bit. Mm. 
Okay, I'll get my stamp and cut and emboss out again. Here we go. We're going to use the same sandwich this time. They're called sandwiches. I'm <laughs> going to use one, two, three. So I use one pad for my cutting and one to go on top. I always use the same one that goes on top. That way uh, it, I get the most out of. And then the other thing you want to do is don't always put it in the center. and Because you can cut it. You can use that whole pad to cut. And sometimes when I'm lazy, I go forward <laughs> and I come back like this. And then I go ahead and I put this, I'll put this on the other one. Line it up. I hope that's not shining in your face. It probably is. Okay, this one I'm probably going to have to wiggle around a little bit. Okay, this one's going to go through. I'll put it up here at the top. Let me use my lazy technique. <laughs> I don't know. It just saves a little bit of energy. <laughs> so now we have our two cuts. And I'll put this away. So now I think we're ready to put our cards together. So let's bring in, well, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta score our card bases. So let me um, get my scoring tool out, which is right here. Now you could use a scoring tool on your trimmer if you don't have the scoring tool. Four and a quarter and four and a quarter. This is our thick whisper white card bases that we cut. I mean thick berry vanilla. I think the berry vanilla is so pretty with this color here. Get our bone folder. Make sure these meet and then crease our fold. Make sure these meet. Crease our fold. All right, now we're ready to put our card together. So we're gonna have one of our old olive panels. Then we're gonna have this, and we're gonna have this. And then for the inside, we're gonna have an old olive, and an old olive, and this. So we're also gonna have our ribbon. Now let's go ahead and cut our ribbon. We need a piece of five inches of ribbon. So I'll grab my scissors. It's five and five. So we have a little bit left over, <laughs> not much. That's why I say to not use any of your supplies until you've made all the kits because you don't want to get ready to do a workshop and then you're like, oh my goodness, I already used that paper. But I'm sure that you could make substitutions if that happens. So this is my DSP. I'm putting a little dab of uh, multi-purpose glue and it's going to go on top of our bumblebee. This is what we'll be wrapping our ribbon around. So since we're doing two cards, I've got my, whenever I use glue, I keep a baby wipe around because <laughs> it's, it's really handy. Gonna put our glue in each, I should get more in the center of our here, so you can see. A glue dot in each, a dot of glue, not a glue dot, in each of these corners and then some around and I'm going to put these panels on. If the glue dust ooze out, that's okay. It'll dry clear. All right, and then from the bottoms, we're going to measure with a pencil. Let me see how far that is. 
um, it is one and a quarter so we're going to measure from the bottom one and a quarter inches on both sides that'll tell us where to put our adhesive on the back I'm going to take our stamp and seal and put uh, two about one inch three quarters of an inch strips on just above that and maybe a little on it that mark that we made that's going to hold in it's going to hold our ribbon in place so put it down around the bottom and then where your mark is the the bottom of your ribbon is on where that mark is and then do the other side so there's your ribbon do the same with this one find your mark and there's your mark okay now this is going to go on top of our old olive and I'm going to use my uh, stamp and seal <laughs> yeah that stuff to put that on it I probably didn't need to put that much on there even top and bottom and sides they're not the exact same they're usually sometimes it's even all around but it's not this one is just even top and bottom okay now we'll put it on this one and put a little bit on this and a little there And then we'll put this on the front of our card base. Oh, it's having problems. What is your problem? There, we fixed it. It's going to go on the front of our card. make sure you put it on where it's opening <laughs> to the right I've done the other and it's no fun taking the panel off but you can do it with your glue gun if you need your glue gun your heat gun if you need to okay let's go ahead and do the insides since we're on a roll here with our stamp and seal put these on the inside of our card There's something amiss with my stamp and seal. I'm not sure. I'll have to check that later. There. I think I might have fixed it. All right, we're ready to do the front. Now we are going to put on 
the flower with uh, we're going to put our flowers on and I think these two flowers go to the top I mean it, I don't know that it matters but I want to try to be so there's like two flowers two flowers two petals it kind of just help it to be like where it needs to be so we're going to put those on with um, mini dimensionals and I'm going to put them in the center oh three of them came off all at one time that was easy <laughs> I don't think I could do that again I got two, one and that one curled up so it won't work let me look so it looks like I that's I didn't put any around the edges so that's all right um, probably a good because we're gonna have to put our leaves around the edges that might be why I didn't do that so there's my two leaves kind of over here and I want it about uh, about a half an inch from the top of the DSP and centered and then we'll do this one my two petals right here half an inch from the top and centered there so we'll bring in our leaves too small too medium I mean too large too small and the large one's going to go up here and the small one's going to go down here now you can you can bend these a little bit if you want to give them a little bit of texture a little bit of dimension and I'm going to put this on with glue dots. I'm quite sure that's what I used. I just put a couple down here near the bottom and slide it under. It's going to go in this corner. Try to find a, pull it out a little bit more. So it's kind of facing that corner right there and then we'll get this one some glue dots and it's just kind of coming out like right here Let me see if I can slide it underneath there and its tip is about halfway from this to this so that gives you an idea about where that is okay we're ready to do this one and two glue dots here facing the corner there's that one and then the same thing with this one two glue dots one two and then down here like that okay that's that and then we have our little labels now these labels are from the label me lovely pick a punch these this right here and I just used, um, if you want to make more, uh, for the garden green, I started out with two and three quarters by three quarters and punched it with the scallop looking one. And then with the bumblebee, I started out with two and a half by one half and then punched it out also. So that'll be in the, um, on, on your PDF as well. So we'll start out with gluing our 
bumblebee to our, and I know that's way too much. I don't want it to run. That's going to go here. And the glue gives me a chance to align it up nicely so that it's even. Just put some tiny little dots, not too big. <laughs> Okay, then we're going to put this on the front with glue dot, well, with glue, dots of glue. Cross the center. Put it in the center and center it up. And that's definitely why you want to use the glue for this. So there's one. There's the other one. I'm going to put those on with mini demi. Oh no, we're going to do something a little bit different. <laughs> we're going to do something a little sneaky. So um, I've already used this one. Let me get another dimensionals. So I had to go get another sheet because I've already pretty much harvested all the edges of this one. So Along the edge, I'm going to cut just a, about a sixteenth of an inch strip. And this is a good reason to save your the parts of your dimensionals that you don't use. And I'm going to cut these about, it's about one and a half inches. And I'll use some more. Cut this other side. Again, about sixteenth of an inch. And about one and a half inches. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put these, remove the backing on one side of them. And put it along the, the edge here, not too close because you don't want it to show from the outside. So That way we can have the dimension without it interfering with the ribbon. That's why we're doing this, in case you're wondering why we're using just regular dimensionals. So, and one more. All right, those are ready to go in place in the center over that ribbon. Take this backing off. Center it. Make sure before you push it down that it's level. Pretty happy with that. Okay, we'll do this one. Okay. 
and that looks good so I'll push it down now for the pearls that are inside here we're going to need seven of the small ones and then two um, of the medium ones for each card and you're going to take your dark daffodil delight stamp and blend and you're going to use your bullet tip so you're going to color seven of these for each card the smallest ones these are from your kit and you can you can use this with this technique with any of the stamp and blends any color that you need you can change your pearls to that color with your stamp and blends And I always use my bullet tip because it's harder. It doesn't, uh, it stands up to the wear and tear better than the brush tip does. I'm going to go over twice just to give it a nice rich goldy yellowy color. And then we need two mediums for each. So we've got four mediums, so that works out great. We'll color those these are the basic ju pearl jewels <laughs> ba basic pearl jewels I think is what they're called but all that information is in your PDFs for these if you got the kit so now we're going to use um, our take your pick tool and we're going to put our we're going to start and try to put the I guess it's best to put one in the middle put them where you see over those little circles in the center so we're going to have one in the center and then the rest will go around the center one Now you could always color these if you wanted to just color those little circles in the center. But I think the beads give it a much more um, elegant look. So one in the center and six around the edges. And that's what you get. So go ahead and do the other one. one in the center realized I had my door shut open <laughs> you could probably hear my husband and his music in the background Okay, so almost all the way around here. One more. There, those are so pretty. And then um, on each one of these edges here on the, whoops, on the bumblebee little flat thing on this end here in the center of that the medium ones move it over a little bit and I hope that you've enjoyed doing this workshop with me this is workshop number three in my poinsettia petals create kit and hopefully um, you'll join me for future workshops as well um, check out my website www.carolbcrafts.com to get your uh, complimentary create kit with a qualifying purchase using my current host code stampingup.com Thanks for watching. Bye now.